Feet together. <laughs> Left hand while Joe's upside down. <laughs> Bow this way. Excellent. Taking your feet out. Nice. Uh, hip distance apart. Usually we start rotating the joints a little up first. Just to get your blood pump. Well, your fluid going around your body. If you like me, you've been sat at the computer for the last hour. Just move this body in training mode. And then from the shoulders. And change direction, so we're going forward. And then bringing the arms into it, pushing through the legs as well. Make sure you spiral into the feet so they don't lose that contact with the floor. And change direction. And then moving the waist, keeping that head central, feeling that stretch in all four corners. Right. Big stretches, so just break all your hips. <coughs> Excellent. Then we're we'll just rotating, the, uh, moving the waist from side to side, just swing the arms nice and loose, getting nice and warm. See if you can just stay in contact with the floor with your feet. So you have to push into the floor, pushing through your legs. Excellent. Then rotating the knees inwards. Standing on one leg, standing nice and tall, from deep, just circling the ankle. And from the knee downwards, keep it nice and soft. Try and bring your knee up slightly past your hip, so you're working the quads as well. And then from the hip, moving that hip all around, nice circle movement. Excellent, and change legs, sinking into that leg first, we'll lift that leg up. Make sure your head's aligned with that foot, ankle first. Then from the knee, and then from the hip, bring the whole leg around. From here, just going into a high horse wind stance because we're not too warm yet. And all you're doing is just uppercuts, but moving from the body and the legs for 10 seconds as fast as you can. 10. Moving the whole body with it. Moving through the legs. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Opening the legs a bit wider, just going from there into bow stance, cross. Both stance there, so you're going into like I'm a pink choy. Go! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just bounce on the spot, getting the heart rate going a little bit. <coughs> and then take your legs out, run behind the other. You don't need to look at your legs, boy. You know where they are. Underneath your feet. Or your feet underneath your legs, I mean. And then go in there. Diagonally. So go one that way, one that way. With your legs. Just like, yeah, point fighting a little bit. So go in that way. And that way. That's it. And go in the star jumps. 10 seconds. 10. 9. Legs on hands. 9. 8. Legs on hands. 5. 4. Three, two, one, just relax, coming out and in. That's it. 
you look at these ankles, or calves or other, backs and forwards. Nice and loose up. Once you're on the balls of your feet. Keep back and out, going outwards. Then kicking your butts behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I'm raising these. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Going out the horse right that time. Squats. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, then pretend there's a pad on the floor and just jump it over it like this with both feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, go down the press up position. I down that from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Onto your backs. Crunches, just move my screen, see what I'm doing. It's normal crunches. Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Four, three, two, one. Into lock of your feet and go to opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Point your toes to the ceiling. Reach for your toes. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now onto your feet. Who <coughs> shot heavy beam in there? <laughs> okay, from here, what are you gonna do for me, babe? You're gonna cover the senior kick hand box a second, which will be good for you all. Turn pack turn. Just means double um, pa double um, palm strike. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to step back with my left leg, looking at my both my palms. My right hand is in front of my left hand, and I'm going to rotate the wrist so I'm slapping this way. So I step back with the left leg, both hands come up to create the energy in your wrist. And I turn the body and slap here. That's it, once you've done that, your right hand, which should be in front, just carries on moving, and then you do a back fist with your right hand towards the belly, the ribs. That's it, and your second hand, your left hand, will do a strike, a chop towards the neck. Then your right hand is in, if you're moving your waist, that's gonna create the power for the uppercut to come through. Okay, so I'll do that one throughout slowly again. Stepping back with the left leg. Surin Pak Jern. Right hand carries on. I'll shuffle in slightly with the back fist. Then I'll turn the hips for the chop with my left hand. And then uppercut. And if you notice, the thing with um, a lot of traditional martial arts, Mark, and Joe, when you bring your hand back here, to me, that we call that like a dead hand. So both hands have to be active. So when I've striked... With the back fist, the left hand strikes the neck, and the left hand then, when I do the uppercut, comes back still to control the arm, rather than your hip. Here, so it's still up here. Okay, so both arms are actually moving in conjunction with themselves. If that makes sense. So, great boy, Boyley. She's done a hook. I've slapped it. This one comes to the belly, the ribs, that chops. But when I do the uppercut now, look at the other hand. It comes back still to control the hand. There, so I'm still here. Because then I can move them 
allow them to do other stuff. Thank you. Okay, so we go for that again. Right, <laughs> on eBay. Left leg back, back sow. Hit, strike, side. So, strike with that uppercut. And that uppercut, with the Kung Fu uppercut, they are nice and straight, not bent wrist. So I'm taking them up. Rather than go with the chin, it's to create that motion until you're coming up underneath the sternum. Okay, so from here, okay, do it five times. It's sa 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 sa. I'll start down for Bryony. <laughs> okay, left leg back, block, strike, strike, and up. So you get that power from your waist, from that movement and your legs. That's why we were doing the uppercut earlier. Okay, ready. Hits! Sa, 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 sa! And then relax after. Really relax all the way through it. Tense at the last minute and then relax again. That's it. Good. For me, mate. Hits! Sa, 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 sa! That's it. And it's all, I like this one because it's all in the waist. Always have your elbows pointed to the floor, not up. Again, three more. Hits! Sa, 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 sa! You'll get it, you will. Come on, I hope Sam won't move this one. Hits! Sa! 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 Is it? Okay. Two more, we're on top. This is for you. Okay, but the others can learn it as well, it's worth doing a heart. Hits! Sa! 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 Excellent, okay, so. both As long as both hands are striking. Okay, so next one. I'm going to step back on my left hand and it's called threading block. It just comes up through the middle. I'm stepping back into a fighting stance. And then I'm going to do a low block, just like in... None of you have done for our yet. Um, so, threading block, just dropping it down, as in almost the second to last, the third to last bit in cable so far. Okay, it comes down like this, but put it into practical use, I'm dropping my energy down and striking so it's dead. Right, that's it. So Bryony, if she does an uppercut towards my head, all I'm doing is dropping it down. Yeah, bang. And then I'm gonna come back up. Okay, so step back with the left, thread it block, go in the hanging stance for the downward um, chop. And then I'm gonna shuffle forward with the same hand that strikes to the neck. So it goes from down, up, and then from there, I've striked to the neck, and the elbow will go downward motion into the sternum. Okay, so we do it that way, and then I'll put my movement on the end. So step back with your left leg, threading block. Just think of your fingers being threaded up. Hanging stance for the downward strike. Shuffle forward to the chop to the neck, same hand. Elbow sinks into the sternum, and then the last one will be the same again, downward strike, as in number two kick block, but I'm going into the hip, to there, or the waist. Did you get that, Shabon? You will do. You will do. <coughs> okay, stepping back, left leg forward, threading block. Everything's done with the same hand, but this one comes into play to cover. Strike down, shuffle forward, Strike with the elbow, strike with the hand. So everything's got to come from that waist. It's your driving force is from that waist. Okay, from eBay. Stepping back, left leg forward. Strike. 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 Da! It's in there. Then that, it's down. So, yeah, so basically, if I bought by any good tomorrow, if I've, I've strike to the neck, elbow just drops in the sternum, and the, same, and the hand just drops, for the waist hit here. And if you notice, the other hand is still controlling the other arm, so I can turn her again. Here, yeah, boy, she's good, she is. Okay, so step back, left leg, threading block, hanging stance down. Reason the hanging stance is such a good stance, because you can use the power from your legs, strike forward, run, sa, sa. Good, not bad at all, okay? But remember, it's that body that we're looking at to get the power from. Okay, on my shout. Hits. One, two, three, four, five. And you're constantly going forward all the time. You're going again. Hits. One, two, three, four, five. That's that power 
right from the word go, if you watch our work, learning and cable so far is that energy of the wrist, which is that connecting it to your body correctly. Okay, ready? Let's sa 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 sa. That's it. It's good. Not bad. Two more. Let's one, two, three. Ta. Imagine that body's in front of you and you're striking. Ah, okay. last one. Let's sa 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 sa. Drive it through. Yeah, it's good. No, okay, give yourself a shake. <coughs> Go from here, I'm going to step it back into uh, basically number one, hand block. So your hand comes up, left leg back, right hand out. And from the same position, from here, all I'm doing is cocking the hand. Sorry? Oh, is that my feedback? I thought it was you. Okay, <laughs> okay. So back left leg, back um, middle block. Point the hand, point your fingers, so you've got the energy, and you're just striking straight forward. So it's basically, if you go back to John Zhao, do Bon Zhao, we come up, that motion, that little bit at the end. Okay, but we're not doing the Bon Zhao. So you just strike, run, and strike. So it's the same hand, and the other hand is covering, not back at your waist. Okay, on my shout. It's sa sa. That's it. Okay, there's a reason why I'm doing this in a minute. Hopefully, anyway. Ready? Let's start! That's good. That's good. good. <coughs> and softening them legs. Let's start! start. Good. Let's start! start. So it's that energy that we're looking for from the waist. So how you're going to create the one inch punch. Ready? So it's that same hand that strikes. Ready? Two more. Good. Remember, think about the weight transference as well, because we're 70% on that front leg when we block, but then we've got to take the weight to the back leg to shuffle forward. Ready? Good, excellent. Okay, so from there, take the thing, we're going to move backwards, block, strike. And then from there, my other hand comes into it because I'm pressing, just like in hand block number six, and roll in slap with the hand. Okay, so go back to your form, okay, boom so far, this motion. Okay, so I've stepped back with the left leg, blocked, strike, roll in slap. And then we're just gonna put on the end of it, a strike with the palm. Okay, so, from here, this is why we create, this is why we're so into moving these wrists around. Okay, so once I've striped, rotate back. But you don't leave your partner. So basically, once I've slapped here, I'm not taking my hand off. I'm just recoiling the wrist to make another move. Bang. Okay, so <coughs> take, walk you through that. Step back with the left leg, block with the right hand, strike, roll and slap. Then strike again with the palm. So you're con continuously going forward all the time in this system of Kung Fu. And you don't take your arms back, but you, the way you generate power is through your wrist, which generates it through your body. Okay, ready? Let's sa, 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 sa. Good, yes. And this is from the really advanced form. Um, I think it's the one going for Black Sash, or it could be the one Anton's on. Okay, it all comes together. It's sa, 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 sa. Yeah, nice and slow, so down for anything. Ready, block with the right hand. Shuffle, strike. Roll in, slap, and shuffle again. That's it. If you put that on somebody, it'd be lethal. Ready, it's sa, 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 sa. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Uh, pretty good, Joe. Ready? It's sa, 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 sa. And remember that middle block comes right through the center line to, to come out. Ready? It's sa, 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 sa. Excellent. And you've got the other hand if you want to use it. But just for this, we're just learning to create energy from a short distance. It's sa, 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 sa. It's one, two.
So we do. So if you think about your form, one, two, one, two. That's it. It's the same motions in all the way through your cabling so far. It's sa, 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 sa. Excellent. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we just look at number <coughs> number five, kick block, and number four, um, six, start with. Okay, so they're attacking you with right foot forward with number five. Okay, so I'm going to go back, as in hand block number two. So we go back with the right leg, block with the um, left hand, step back with the left leg, X block, or whatever you want to call it, or strike, I would rather call it. And two. So I did that wrong. Start getting back to you. They go back with the left leg to block with the right hand. Then step back with the right leg, cross block. Because that leaves you the right leg then to step forward, elbow, turn on your feet, and then another elbow here. Okay, so do that again. Correctly this time. Step back with the left leg, block with the right hand, step back with the right leg. X block. Come forward, elbow, put the arm away, turn on the body and strike. Excellent. Not bad at all. Okay, on my shout, five of them. Hurts! Sa! 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 Good, ready. Hurts! Sa! 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 Just do it slow, just do the first movement first. Ready, hurts! One, two, step. Sa! Drive that elbow into there, got it. And again, hurts! One, two, three, Sa! Oh, good, last one. Hurts! One, Sa! 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 Good. Okay, number six. I'll get down to yours. Okay, <clears throat> number six. This time, the way I said a moment ago, <clears throat> going back with your right leg, block with your left hand, strike, punch. Step forward with the right leg, press, rolling punch. That's it, rolling punch. So look, Siobhan, what I was saying about that walk, rolling punch is coming straight to the centre. So my hips would be facing centre. So when we do your walk later, it's that way. And, sh and um, south walk as well. Okay, so just do number six. So back with the left, with the right leg, block with the left hand. Hurts, sa! Step forward, sa! A rolling punch. That's it, good. And again. Hurts, sa! Sa! That's it, that's it. Just like this. Oh, but it's a close fist. Hurts! Sa! 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 Good. Make sure that fist is dead centre to your own body. Because you've got that rolling, rolling technique going through your body. Hurts! Sa! 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 Good stuff. Hurts! One, two, step. That's it. Yes. Good. Last one. Hurts! One, sa, sa. Excellent. Okay, so we'll go back into eBay. I'm uh, not eBay. Horse white sides. <clears throat> We're just going to go over the full. And just notice all these movements. What it's gearing up for with what we just done, basically. Go into horse white stance. Open them hand up. Rotate. One. Coming down that center line. Cup in the hand, so it's like you've got like, holding an egg in your palm. Coming through the center. Pick it up, and then there, block it, pick it up. Coming through the center, turn the fox out, open up, and strike. Back of the hand, straight through that center, turn the fist, turn the fingers so you're getting this motion going to the edge of your hip. Turn that towards here, drop the elbow, strike, and then grab. Other hand, run. Two, straight through the center, up, across, one, two, strike, 
bang, one, two, three. Now, try not to bring them shoulders into it, excellent. Give me the extra shake. <coughs> so from here, all we're doing is stepping back now, stepping back, so this, this motion we did at the end after rolling punch, or rolling slap, okay? Doesn't have to, it's a sucky same principles. Doesn't have to come low, but it can come high. Okay, so that's inside block. Basically, yeah, basically that is the same as the first moving cable so far. Okay, so somebody's coming to punch you, and we're going on the outside gate, stepping back with the left hand up here. Okay, then you're gonna rotate the wrist in a circle. Okay, so you've striped, rotate the wrist in a circle to there. Okay, so we're gonna do. May I run, we'll take the wrist, strike. Okay, I'll show you now in a minute. Ready, hits, run, suck. Ah. Excellent, so what I've done, it finally comes, may I have a up hand, I'll be nice and gentle. Okay, so we've blocked, come underneath, and hit, that's all it is, it's just a rotation. Around from here, around, to get them on the arm bar like that. So what are you doing? Okay, on my shout. Hits, sa, sa. Drive it. So the arm lands in your shot by your um, sh sh arm, shoulder. Ready? Hits, sa, sa. Visualize that person there. Good stance as well. Ready? Hits, sa, sa. Ready? Hits, sa, sa. Three more. Hits, sa, sa. Just a circle. That's all you're doing. Circle. But you're pushing down your palm. Okay. Hits, sa, sa. It's a circle. Okay. Last one. Hits, sa, sa. Shuffle. You always. You might want to shuffle. You might want to bring that back leg around. You're getting them on the floor. You might want to come down low. That's true. Last one. Hits, sa, sa. Excellent, good, good, good. Right, let's go with some of the walks. So you've got <coughs> from here, if you um, get confused, just go back to the one you know. Okay, from here, you may. Sinking seven legs, right from the start, seven forward, hama, ping, joy. Yes, hurts, sir. See, you should always know what legs is. Seven forward, press down, hurts, sir. Relax. Hits. Sa. Excellent. Take a few steps back. I'm not going to get you going backwards just in case you're um, crashing into something. Are you ready? Hum our link one choice. So first, so turn your fist to a um, straight punch. Three punches. Step forward. Hits. Sa. Drive that body weight into it. Sa. Sit. So as you place that foot down, you should be already striking. Ready. Hits. Sa. Drive. Okay, excellent. It's uh, Yeah, shout is all on the one, on the, all on the three punches. It's sa. Uh, so as you drive that body, that's when you're getting that power from. Don't step, then uh, punch. It's uh, It's uh, That was only two punches from me. <laughs> okay, last few. Ready? Sa. Uh, Excellent. It should, after the first one, be out the way anyway. Ready? Hits! Drive it through. Excellent. Okay. Keep thinking about your posture because you don't want to lean into it. Okay. So from here, we're doing CERN. Going into a Bucy Ping Choi. So the same rotation that we've just been doing, really. Going outwards. Right leg's coming forward. Set for the punch. Okay. So from here, I've got my left leg forward tonight, you guys. Ready? We'll take the wrist out. Let's sa. Did step. My well, dinner, actually. But the same arm stays there. So one, two. That's it. Now we're going to step with the spear. Put your right leg in front. What? Punching with the right hand. Right leg in front. Punch with the right hand. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to step forward to the spear. Slice. And it comes underneath. Sa. That's it. It's open the fingers. Ready? Press down now for the strike. Hits, sa! See, it really goes for power now, guys. Ready, slice, sa! Let's go underneath somebody. Step forward, press, 
sa. Excellent, good, good, good. It's sa. Excellent, and press down. It's sa. Excellent, good, good, good. So from here, we're going into Sun Bootsy. If the left leg's forward, I've got my right leg forward at the moment. Left leg hanging stance, double for um, Bootsy uh, block. Okay, so then I step forward with the right hand and spear. The left leg's in front, block in, right hand front spear. Okay, ready? And stop! Drop the elbows down. That's it. Keep, make sure your forward leg is covering that groin area. Step forward. Sa! That's it. And just open your fingers up because it's fitting through his eyes. Okay, ready? And stop! Make sure that your hands are still, and my fair lady's hand it's called. I'm just opening it up so it's like I'm holding a tray there. It's stronger than that like this. Okay, so forward. And stop! Try and bring your hips into it. If you go into the block, where my move first. And on the block. Okay, so try and bring your hips into it without moving your hands. So I'm stepping forward and I'm striking from the hips, but I'm not moving my hands much. It does take a while, it's about loosening up that waist. So if you put your right leg forward to the spear, we're just learning it, don't worry too much yet. Uh, sit it into the block. Ready, and set. Okay, good set. And step forward, and set. Excellent, give yourself a shake a second. We don't go into the walks a lot. This is a good opportunity really just to analyze the walks a little bit. Because for years I thought they were pretty useless. Or I didn't really understand why you had to do the walks. But it's just muscle memory on every other thing that's going on in our Kung Fu system, really. So you will get there and link it all together eventually. So, from here, right leg forward into the spear. We're going to move into Sun Ping Choi. So the left leg's going to come forward. Just got worried about one hand, sorry, boy. Okay, if you're new to this, I would just do one hand. But if you've got good coordination, you'll be fine. Okay, as the right leg comes, I'm blocking towards it, just like in the first move we came in so far. Okay, but close. And then I'm punching both hands out, one hand in front, on top, one hand below, and then I'm bringing it back to here. Okay, this is one of the ones we do bring our hands back to the waist. Okay, just to go through the motion. Where the right leg comes forward. Hitsa! That's it, good. Okay, and step forward. Hitsa! So just think about one hand that goes blocked towards his leg, then you put the other one in afterwards. It's sa. Excellent. It's sa. And again. It's sa. It's sa. And then it's sa. Good stuff. Okay. So you got your white leg. If you got, if you haven't got your white leg forward, put your white leg forward. We're going into uh, Sun UQ, and tomorrow we're, me and Brian are going down the centre, and we're going to do all the walks um, and put them on YouTube, so you'll have them all tomorrow. Okay, so right leg forward. This is the hardest one to show you on video, really. Okay, so it's double bridges. When I step forward, my left hand's going to be on top using my forearm to strike, and the right hand is the uppercut. Okay, so if we all step into that to start with, I'm going to come forward, covering that centre line, and then heel first and out. Left leg forward, my left hand's on top. That's it, yes, okay, so next one, we, so what we say is we turn the steering wheel. So I'm going to turn the steering wheel and bring my right hand up, covering that centre line. So my right hand is, uh, that's it, Joe, okay, and that gives you rotation for the power. Stepping out with the right leg, rotate the hand, hit the forearm, and uppercut. That's it, good. Yes, you get it then. Okay, so whatever leg's in front is the hand that's above, in, on top. Turn out that back leg. My left hand comes to protect my head, just like when we turn. This hand is a big helicopter circle, and I go down to the floor and strike with far cue, which is like a middle finger. Um, index finger. When I push up off that leg, 
it, the arm comes on the outside. And like, look at it as striking with the shoulder muscle as well. And bang, to there, that's it. And a lot of people, it doesn't matter, but a lot of people just keep it far Q, um, top choice, sorry, because of the strike. But you can have a normal fist, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so stepping forward with the left leg. Left arm, left leg comes through and you block, cover that center line. Step out with the left leg, double bridges. Turn the steering wheel, right hand in front, right leg in front. Step out, double bridges. Rotate that on the heel so your body moves away from the technique or coming to you. Rotate the helicopter and down onto one knee. My right leg's in front. Strike up. And you don't put no weight on that leg until you do this. So you're bringing the race into it again. The race is always the driver, guys. Okay, we're going to do that. But I'll run through it slowly. There's no point doing this quick. Okay, heads, one, turn the steering wheel, two, coming up, down, up, strike. It's not bad. So you're not just striking with the arm, it's your whole body that's going to hit your target. Okay, just think of somebody's grabbing you here and you're coming over the top just to hit them, but you're going down to the floor for the exercise. Okay, so I'm hitting this right leg forward. Get ready. Heads. Sa. 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 That's it. Good. Not bad. Ready. Heads. Sa. 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 Good stuff. Very good. Ready. Heads. Sa. 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 That's it, a few more, a few more. Heads, sa, 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 sa. Excellent, and again. Two more. Heads, sa, 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 sa. One more, last one. Heads, sa, 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 sa. If you go right down to the floor, you'll really get a good spring off this leg to really bring that power into that hand. And give yourself a shake. Good, good, good. Okay, we cover one or two kick blocks for whining. Okay, so from eBay, <coughs> remember to pivot on your ball of your foot when you come round. Okay. And guys, practice the whole side stance as well. You're getting a lot of people sending me videos, cable so far. When we do this walk, this one, it is horse riding stats, it doesn't have to be that high, but I've seen people do horse riding, um, Kaylin's um, came himself far, just basically just bending their legs. It is done in horse riding stats, you can strengthen the legs, so don't neglect that. Thomas. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna step back, horse riding stats, the right leg, block, and then turn and kick, bang. So you look at your stance, please. That's it, and it's the other hand that blocks. Your left leg blocks, it's left arm. So on my count, heads, and then just kick. Oh, one, turn the kick. No, that's it. Power. You're thinking of power, power into coming through, not, okay. not, uh, no, not power, but um, what's going to do the most damage, basically. Heads, sup, sup. This time we do bring the hand back here to get that power for this one, bang, so it's through the waist again. Everything's coming from the waist. Ready? Heads, sa, sa. Good. That's it, well done. And again. Heads, sa, sa. Good stuff. Two more. Heads, sa, sa. That's it, hide the thumb, last one. Hits, sa. Good, next shape. Okay, number two, stepping back with the right leg in the bow stance. Nice low stance, so you block properly. And then bring the hands up for the turn, front kick with your bottom of your foot. <coughs> so make sure you just go down on top front leg. Ready? Hits, sa, sa. 
That's it. As you kick, as you block, bring his leg this arm up to kick. Okay, ready? Press! Sound! Good. Excellent. Hurts! Sup! Sup! That's it, that's it. If you notice, this hand's already there and I've done this well. Just to come forward. No need to bring it right the way back. It covers. Two more. Hurts! Sup! Sup! Good. Now back to me. Ready? Hurts! Sup! Sup! Excellent. We're doing the cover three and four for uh, Mark and Joe. Okay, this time, think about the hands as well. I'm springing off my right leg, hands come up, but I'm still facing my partner with my knee. Then I'm just gonna do a side kick, okay? Make sure when you do this, there's not much gap there. It's not like this, or this, it's just there. So there's not much gap. They can get through if they're really fast and very um, small, okay? So stepping backwards, my shout. Hurts, sir! Side kick, bang, to the knee. To the kneecap, preferably. Okay, so you're going back in the hanging stance. Right Didn't you stance it? Yeah, going back with your left leg, your right leg's in front. Ready? Hurts, sir! Sir! It's okay. Okay. Hurts, sir! Sir! I love all this stuff now I'm getting older because you don't have to kick so high. <laughs> Ready? Hurts! Sa! Sa! Still make it work. <sighs> Last one. Hurts! Sa! Sa! Good. Yes, excellent. Okay, so number four. I'm going back again in the horse riding stance, but it's my right hand that's going to be blocking. Okay, so it's just like in the, in the form. As I go round, it slices. And then I'm going to turn the kick around to the lower leg. Okay, you haven't got time to drink, Siobhan. God, dear. There's wine, that's right. Ready? Hurts! Sir! Sir! So think of, that's number one, you know number one. Mm -hmm. You're just doing block it with a stiffened hand now. Mm -hmm. We're down. So it's exactly the same. Once you get the links in, you'll be fine. Ready? Hurts! Sir! Sir! Back leg, back leg, okay? Sit, ready? Hurts! Sa! Sa! And it's about pivoting. When I move, I often move my leg first, so I haven't got so far to pivot. Okay, ready? Two more. Hurts! Sa! Sa! Last one. Okay, ready? Hurts! Sa! Sa! Excellent, good, good, good. Right. So, yeah, the last, I'm uh, going back with that leg, so one, well, yeah. Number five, you go back with your left leg. And you press, you can either press like this, or you can block like this. I'd rather like this, because I've got my thumb so many times when I block like this, and I'm using my palm. It's still a strong technique, okay, and definitely for knees, if somebody's got your head, to block down like this. Okay, so I'm going back with the left leg, coming down in a bow stance. Then it's same as number one, I'm gonna step back with the right leg, block, like number one. And then I'm using this hand to pull their guard down, my left hand. And then I'm just doing ripping punch. So ripping punch is just like a loose, floppy fist, tiger claw around, that's it. Okay, so think about coming across the eyes, and then you can come back to the neck if you want to. That's it, okay. But that's not part of the, part of the um, can't kick block, but you can do that if you like. Always think about something else afterwards. Okay, ready? Left leg going back. Hurts! Sa! Sa! So all we're doing is shuffling forward. Just that. With back leg. Back arm. That's it. That's it. Okay, so think about hitting somebody. Like, bop. If you did that across some of these temples as well, it doesn't have to be across the eyes. It's gonna, it's gonna feel it. Okay, once you get that nice and relaxation and going in your body. Ready? Hurts! Sa! Sa! And slow it down, but boy, forget. You get it, you get it. Just the white belt. Not just the white belt, because you want your part. Ready? Left leg back, run back. Hurts! Right leg, run back. Sa! 
And then shuffle forward. Sa! Backhand. That's why he's, no, he's not much room, but you mm. need to move. Get you out. Okay, ready? Last two. Birds! Sa! Sa! That's it. Yep, and then the other hand. That's it. So I'm pulling, so I'm pulling their guard down to strike. Okay. And most people, if I'm bored by any, left that leg forward. Okay, if she's here, if she's just kicked, and I bring this hand down, her head comes forward. <laughs> okay. And I'm just using this to rip across either the eyes or the temple. But that's why this hand comes down, because it brings the head forward so you can strike it. Okay. Unless they're nice and relaxed, which most people aren't when they try to fight. Okay. Two more times. Ready? Heads! Sa! Sa! Last one. Ready? Heads! Sa! Sa! Good, excellent. Well done. Okay, and the last one for now, number six. Which I recommend practicing this on your own, even if you even maybe went in classes. Because a lot of people find the footwork really hard. So I'm going back. <coughs> uh, I'm going back with my right leg this time. So same again, blocking down low. Going back with my right leg. Then I do the same thing again. Step back, but with the opposite side. As like number one, but opposite. Then I'm going to go into cross stance. So I'm bringing my left leg forward past behind my right leg and that allows you to spin and I'm doing double bridges like we did earlier that's it so the uppercut with my right hand left hand's up high blocking here so this is one I did have a bit of a plan today um, which is why I did the walks first okay because it does all link in and each each time all the walks all the kit blocks and the forms ideally should link up together eventually as much as I could have done, really. So, going back with the right leg. One, block. Going back with the left leg, block. Take the left leg forward, behind, so it's like you could do a step through side kick, but I'm gonna spin. And then I'll step forward when I'm doing the double bridges, okay? It's a really hard one to do with a partner to get the foot in right, and it depends who you're doing it with. So this is all about really knowing where to place your feet um, with the different different shape partners, really, because we're all different. Okay, they might, they might kick you different. So sometimes I'll, I'll adjust it as I'm moving along all the time. Okay, so we do five of them. Ready? Heads! Sa! 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 It's a lot easier without a partner, this one, isn't it, Tom? Okay. Ready? Number four. Heads, sa, sa. Let's go and spin in the wrong way, Joe. So carry on with that leg. That's it. As soon as, as soon as that back leg comes through, you just turn your body to follow it, basically. <coughs> Ready? Heads, sa, 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 sa. Good, excellent. Okay, good, good, good. Last two. Ready? Hurts! Sa! Sa! It's really good practice to do these on your own because you, you really got to think about what leg's going to move. Ready? Hurts! Sa! Sa! Excellent. Give me legs. Take it. Okay, go back, find a bit of space. From eBay, you're just going to go into fighting stance. So remember your arms come through the middle, that centre line. Okay, this is called my wedge, basically. So even if somebody punches me and I'm just attacking, attacking them directly, so you're wedging through the punch. So if Brian does a punch to me off your backhand, the wedge is really one of our principles, which is what I want you to think about eventually. As the punches come in, all I'm doing is just wedging through that fist. I don't have to do nothing as long as I go through that centre line. Because now she can't reach me unless she really leans into it. Okay, so you're wedging all the time through your opponent's guard or, their, or whatever they're giving you. Okay, so stepping into fighting stance. Wah, bang. Okay, that's, it's called, in Aokido, it's called the unbreakable arm. 70%. From here, one, one step, you can do just a normal kick. Okay, one step front kick. Think about them hands. Again, I'm wedging through my opponent. There, step, 
kick. Okay, one step front kick. That's it. Okay, on my shout. It's sa. So think about wedging through your opponent's gap. Ready? It's sa. Good. Where? It's sa. It's sa. It's sa. Good, one step turning kick. Sun ma yun tak. It's sa. It's sa. I nearly kicked the computer. Last few times. Change legs, actually. Put your right leg in front. Might have to say what's going on. It's sa. And get a nice snappy kick. It's sa. That snap is going to add to the pain, the sting. And again, it's snap. That's the purpose of our kicks being nice and short and not so big. Because you're going to rely on that, that snappiness. It's snap. Rather than power from your whole body. Last couple of times. It's snap. It's snap. Excellent. Put your left leg in front. So more. Yun tak. So this time, keep that knee straight. Don't let that knee, don't chamber the leg like this. Nice and straight, and then come straight out. So more. So more one tack. One step side kick. Left leg forward to start with. Hut. Sa. Hut. Sa. Good. Back. Hut. Sa. That's good. Hut. Sa! Good. Two more. Hut! Sa! Excellent. Now that's the last one. I think we're going to do from here. So my shin tack, so my yun tack, and then so my wan tack. One step front kick, one step turning, then one step side. Make sure you have enough space, or you have to adapt. What martial artists should do. Ready? Hut! Sa! 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 And again. Keep going back. Do it five times. One back as quick as you can. No walking south. Come on. <laughs> Ready? Hut. Sa. 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 Back. As quick as you can. Go. Hut. Sa. 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 Back. Left leg forward each time this time. Hut. Sa. Sa. Think about them hands. Sa. Back. Right leg forward. Same again. But think about them hands. Go. Hut. Sa. Sa, sa, and back. Go, number four times. Hut, sa, sa, sa. Them hands should be moving as much as the legs, or more than the legs. Two more. Hut, sa, sa, sa. And last side, right leg forward, boy. Hut, sa, sa, sa. Excellent, give your legs a shake. <coughs> Bring out the whole side stance. Hold it for 10 seconds. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Sink it down low if you can. Should be getting used to it by now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Going down to 4. Press up position. But around the row, press ups. Remember, we're going to stick one hand to your. Shoulder, other hand to your shoulder, raise your left leg, raise your right leg, and back to your hands. Okay, makes sense? Good. 15 seconds. Go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, go down to the plank position. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, onto your backs. Crutches, go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, interlock your legs. Take your opposite shoulder to your knee. To go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Keep, 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 keep your feet pointed to the ceiling. Reach up for them. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Land on your feet. Let's finish with some shoulder stamps. Okay, take your legs down. <coughs> Let me just show you my head because uh, I like to look at it. Okay, stand on one leg, look in the mirror. Left, left hand out, right left leg up. Right in the middle, hit. Coming up with your right hand, strike with your right left leg, strike with your right hand. Hold it. Don't cheat, Thomas. And then stamp as you punch. One, two, three. Sing that stance a bit if you can. We do five. Go. Five. Sir. Four. Sir. Now we're going to do ten. I said we were moving up, didn't I? We're going up. Three. Sir. Four. Sir. Five. Sir. Six. Sir. Seven. Sir. Eight. Sir. Nine. 